Coach, uh, 24-23 he win here over the Finley Oilers and just an opening statement on tonight's game. Oh, you know, we're spoiled as heck around here. People are like acting like we lost. That is one huge win against one great football team. So that's as good a football team as we've played uh, in a long time. Um, you know, they had quite a few guys that uh, – we didn't know a lot about because their quarterbacks a transfer, uh, JUCO transfer, Division One to JUCO to to uh, Finley, and uh, they they picked up a couple uh, transfer receivers. Um, so all in all, I give a lot of credit to Finley, and I told my team in the huddle, you know, that's a huge win for us. Um, you know, they're not easy to come by. Um, you know, they were eight and three last year with five. Um, offensive linemen returning, four of them being seniors. So very impressed by uh, them. Um, and uh, it was a hard-fought game, you know. Uh, they had 74 plays for 469. We only had uh, 64 plays for 405. But we punted the ball great, got them back, uh, backed up quite a bit. But uh, we couldn't keep them there. They were, they were a handful for sure. Glad you could make it. <laughs> Coach jo Joe Alicio from Wood TV8. Uh, just your message to the team after. Um, can you kind of elaborate more on the wins being hard to come by and, and just a good gutsy win for your team? Yeah, I just said 1-0. and oh, And, uh, you know, for, for a team that has as many returning starters as we do and uh, for um, – us to have high expectations, you know, whatever ranking people want to talk about. I've never really even cared about those kind of things. But for all those things, um, you know, this is probably the perfect, perfect scenario for us. One, we got a W, and uh, thank goodness for that. And two, um, we probably learned a little bit of a lesson, which uh, is good, too. So, um, you know, all in all, very pleased by it. Probably, I think, our team uh, thought I would be really angry after the game <laughs> because that's what they, they sometimes feel when... Uh, you know, when, when we have close games, but um, I wasn't angry at all. I was, I was relieved, pleased. I thought we fought hard. You know, the 13 penalties to two is, uh, you know, that's a tough pill to swallow. Um, so we got to clean some things up, obviously. But all in all, relieved and happy to, um, you know, have a little bit longer weekend uh, being one and zero. So, and for all those that say, hey, you know, the the Bulldogs almost got beat. You know, we still got the one in the ledger for uh, for that W. So, you know, some of our opponents might get moral victories because we played close, but uh, that, that's good for us. It'll make us better. Uh, Coach Cora Hall, the Fair State Torch. Um, you guys scored off the bat, but then slowed down, slowed down quite a bit and had less than 200 total offensive yards first half. Where do you think the offense was struggling the most there? I don't think our offense, you know, I thought some of the things we did were good. Um, you know they uh, they protected Travis pretty well. You know we uh, you know we had 400 uh, over 400 yards of offense. So uh, you know rushing the ball was tough because they loaded the box. They played us thin in the secondary, and uh, you know when when we completed passes they were they were big. But you know the two turnovers really hurt us. Um, you know, we, we went aggressive after we got the turnover and Avante uh, recovered the fumble. And then we threw a pick right after that. And then we were on the move on the next, uh, the, the possession where right, right after uh, halftime and we were on the move. And then we ended up, uh, you know, turning the ball over there. That was a huge uh, turnover. So it wasn't a perfectly clean game, but um, there's, there's some things that I'm very optimistic about. And I felt our fight and, and uh, passion and those kind of things were there. So um, people don't expect me to be optimistic in certain circumstances, but I felt, uh, felt optimistic about you know moving forward, and I feel great about winning that game. Oh, Coach, Travis Six from Bulldog Sports Network. Your special teams had several punts inside the five. How big uh, of a role did the special teams play tonight in the win? I thought huge. I thought I was. I wish we could have kept them there, you know. Every time we punted it down there, um, they made a play. But, 
you know, we punted on the short field a couple times, um, you know, four punts for 47.5, and three of them inside the five. Those are huge, huge situations. So, uh, um, you know, very pleased by that. Um, and again, uh, our defense, like, People haven't ran the ball against us like that in a long time, so that's that's a good good experience for us right there to, to be exposed to that. 244 yards rushing. Um, you know, I think that last year the opponents averaged about 105 yards rushing. So uh, um, that was a that was a big test for us. What do you like about Travis's play today, and how does he compare with Jeru? Obviously, they're two different style of athletes, but there's a big difference, obviously, right? Yeah, I know. Uh, Travis was awesome. He, he uh, you know, we put Evan in the game, and, and I, I thought Evan did great because Travis was a little banged up, and he said, Coach, I can gut it out, but uh, we didn't want him to take any hits, and the one Evan played kind of flipped the field a little bit. Uh, um, you know when he when he drove uh, when he broke the long run, but um, you know I thought Travis was solid for a first game. You know uh, everybody wants to talk about Jay Rue, but um, you know it's uh, it's a tough spot to be in. But you know we're we're blessed to have him here for sure because uh, he could be um, using that degree to make you know hundreds of thousands of dollars because you know he's so gifted and all the personal qualities that he came back uh, just because he loved his team and and uh, so I'm very happy that, that we have him. Do you expect to keep j Rue out next week too? Um, I would hope that he would play next week. Um, you know, I, I would hope that. Um, you know, I've already said that Travis will start the first two games, but you know, that doesn't mean that, you know, Jay Rue won't play. And so, uh, you know, we'll see, see how he progresses and how he feels. But, um, you know, it's, 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 it's hard to predict now, but we'll see. Central Washington is going to have to wait and see, too. Uh, Coach, didn't see as much of Evan Cummins tonight as some people may have expected. Um, what led into that decision to not play him as much? Um, you know, Evan, Evan's probably going to be more of our quarterback run guy. Um, and they loaded the box and forced us to throw the ball. So um, we felt like, you know, Travis is more of the, um, you know, accomplished, not, not so much a better passer, but an accomplished, uh, you know, knowing our system uh, passing game-wise. So, so uh, we, we rolled with Travis in that situation more so than Evan. Coach Greg Miller, 9 and 10 News. Uh, talk about the defensive effort. Uh, came up with, what, four or three or four uh, fourth down stops there in the first half and made the big plays. Yeah, the they, they had a hard fight on their hands. You know, that team was a, a great RPO uh, team. Um, you know, they had a couple uh, penalties because their guys are downfield. But, they're you know, they're reading defenders and trying to throw off, uh, you know, runs, called runs. And, you uh, and you know they, they got us quite a bit in the first half thank god you know we're uh you know we played four corners steady steady we played a lot of bodies tonight so long haul that's going to help us um because i saw a lot of bodies out there playing and so um i think for, uh you know for the for the long run um you know playing four corners trusting four corners is, is big because last year we kind of got caught in a, in a world where we kind of ran out of body. So hopefully we've developed, uh, you know, developed some depth, you know, in spring ball and through camp. And, and we played a lot of bodies tonight in that, in that regard. Uh, Sam, could you talk about the defensive effort tonight, especially was there any frustration that last drive with three pass interference calls? Yeah, definitely some frustration and definitely some things we need to work on. It's eliminating penalties for sure. Um, like Coach was mentioning, we haven't had a team run on us for 244 yards in a long time. So in the RPO game, they had a good RPO game, and we were kind of struggling with that too. So. Specifically, without giving up any secrets, what do you feel the defense will need to do to get back to cutting down the rushing yardage uh, allowed? Just get back to playing our game. It was the first game we knew they were going to be a good test as far as rushing the ball and RPOs, but we know what we got to do better now. Um, uh, yeah, just get back to our normal game that we're used to playing. 
Devontae, could you talk about that uh, touchdown and, and the drive that what was going through the offense's mind? Uh, when it was a tie ball game, you guys got the go-ahead score. Uh, yeah, our biggest, our biggest uh, goal was to just get in the end zone. Um, credit to the O-line and all those guys up front. Uh, they made their blocks and they did their jobs and uh, they did what we practiced and it just came through for us. There's a lot of talk, of course, about J. Rue, but do you feel with yourself and others there's a lot of weapons on offense that uh, as the season progresses, you guys are going to show some things? Yes, we're gifted on offense. we got a lot of returners and a lot of seniors, um, a lot of leadership. Um, our job is just to execute and uh, play fair state football. Sam, talk us through the uh, two-point conversion there at the end of the game. You know, as a defensive leader out there, uh, what's going through your mind? Yeah, so I guess when they first lined up like that, coach was screaming at us to <laughs> get guys manned up and stuff. And we knew they were going to do something funky. Um, and it eventually worked out, but there was a little lack of communication as far as defensively scheming for that. But it obviously worked out for the good. All right, thanks, game. That'll wrap it up for the post-game press conference.